Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Adam Wolf from Gamers Platform, and today we're in another episode of Skyrim No Fast Travel Challenge, episode 36. Yes, it is the morning. I'm recording early so I can render the rest of the day and get it to you guys later today. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But um <clears throat> really, really happy to be playing this game. So, um... Yeah, I finally figured out that uh, doing those stupid animal extermination uh, missions, completely useless. Um, because I missed one critical step to getting rid of my werewolfism. Um, there's a cave down in the southwest, and it's where we killed the hag ravens like forever ago. Though they're not called hag ravens, they're, gr they're the grim moral witches. Or Grim Morel. I don't know how you say it, but um, and I killed one of them that had a, that I could collect a head from, and that head I could have thrown into Yisgrimor's blue flame pedestal there. <sighs> so that's gonna be our adventure today. I hope you guys don't mind. We're gonna be we're gonna go get the head and go all the way to Yisgrimor's tomb, <clears throat> and. Finally get rid of our werewolfism. And I'm really, really happy. So let's get gaming. Alright. Let's do this. Lydia, come hither. Also figured out that... Uh, oh, also, just grab yourself a drink. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Ah. <sighs> My drink of choice, of course, not of course, uh, is ah, itchy nose. My drink of choice is a mixture of orange juice and ginger ale. Believe it or not, great combo. Great combination. All right, so I'll show you guys the cave. And I, I tested this on an old save in the original Skyrim, and it was absolutely true. I completely missed the stupid, 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 stupid head. All right, there it is right there. Glen Moral Coven. I have to go all the way here, and then go all the way back up here. It's going to be an adventure today, okay? All right. Oh, let me uh, let me mark it. Place marker. All right, so. Uh oh. I forgot to set my uh, middle mouse button settings. Not that. Controls. There we go. POV. Oh, God, yeah. All right, here's the thing. Okay. Um, what was that? Oh, right. That's on my mouse four. Uh, always run is actually going to be my mouse three. No, actually, that was going to be caps lock. It's auto move. That's mouse three. Uh, I had to um, reformat my game drive. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because it was probably fragmented to no end. I'm not going to lie. It was probably fragmented. Because uh, I hadn't reformatted it or defragged it ever. Which is not something you want to do with a hard drive. I'm talking hard drive. Platter drive. The big ones. With an SSD, you don't have to worry about defragging. It doesn't... If you do that, you risk ruining the drive. Uh, because it's faster memory. It's flash memory. There's no moving parts. The only reason you have to defrag a hard drive is because there's moving parts. It's always it's writing to a physical disk, whereas <clears throat> SSDs... Ooh, look at the rain. That is absolutely... This is Climate Tamriel at work, baby. Yeah. Um, whereas um, an SSD is just like... If you take a look at your flat... If you have a flash memory stick, that's what an SSD is, just faster. 
it's a type of flash memory, but it's faster than flash memory, if you, if you get my meaning. Um, but that's basically it. There's no moving parts. It's just a board that's inside a hard case. You can, it, even while it's running, writing, you can move it around, do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It's not going to ruin anything. Still don't unplug it while it's writing or anything like that. <laughs> Never do that. Don't do any of that while you're doing stuff in your computer. If your computer's on, don't touch anything. Don't unplug anything anyway. Um, if for whatever reason you're doing some testing and or whatever, I don't know, um, or you're installing a new drive and you plug it in just to make sure it works and everything, if you move the SSD, don't worry, you're not gonna ruin anything. Just don't unplug it. <coughs> Excuse me. But. Uh, so, <clears throat> anyway. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So I reformatted the drive. It works fine now. Um, but I am not going to install as many games as I had before. I'm only going to install games that I feel like I'm going to play. Um, or that I am playing. Though, technically, uh, this past weekend, uh, I started back on The Witcher 2. Having a blast with that game. Don't know why it's doing that. Um, having an absolute blast with that game. And <clears throat> um, I installed that on my main drive, which is an SSD. So it's like pew, fast. It does have its moments of like hitching and stuttering when it needs to load a new section. But once it loads... All right, you guys can have fun with that. I'm not going to bother. But once it loads, it's done loading. Like, it has absolutely nothing else to load. It's only if you, like, go into a new area, sometimes it'll need to load something. But very quickly. And then that basically comes down to the optimization of the game. And on PC, Witcher 2's not the best. <clears throat> not the worst. But in terms of loading objects and textures, it's not the best either. Um, but again, only when it needs to load something new. And I think that's... Pretty much most games, anyway. Um, but I put it on the SSD just so I don't have to have any issues anymore with it. I also loaded Seven Days to Die and PUBG on the SSD, and both are working just fine. Obviously. <clears throat> um, however, Seven Days to Die, being that it is still in alpha, you know, its, cap it's capabilities of loading is pretty bad. I mean, even if you have the settings on low or, you know, on whatever recommended settings for your PC, it doesn't load very well uh, objects into the world yet, not smoothly enough. So, yeah, no. But it's something you have to deal with with a game that's not finished. <clears throat> but that's why I, sorry about that, but that's why I um, put it on the SSD. Because it's a small file, it's actually it's not very big, and uh, well, one of these days I'm actually going to. I just t took a look at some of the, uh, you know, this same stupid, stupid freaking elk is just constantly showing up, and I'm sick of seeing it. I really am. I'm so sick of seeing the same stupid elk every time. <laughs> now I'm pretty sure. The, uh, <clears throat> let's see, things are acting a little bit strange. Oh, it actually wasn't going to take that long to get there. Hmm. <clears throat> um, the, uh, I don't, th I don't know, but I, I don't even want to bother trying. Because uh, I don't have any other weapons anyway. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that the whole grouping of weapons and stuff still does not work in SK or in a Sky UI yet. Because um, SKSE is still in uh, alpha alpha build, beta build. I don't know. It's in one of those builds. <clears throat> so I don't expect it to work, and so I'm not even gonna bother anyway. So it's not. It doesn't look like it's gonna take very long to get to the coven. Um, since I've already been there, 
uh, I've killed everything. I know which I know which which I need to actually get the head off of. <clears throat> but basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to get the head, and then I'm going to go all the way up to the north to Yisgumor's tomb, throw it into the blue flame. Which again, Yisgumor's tomb is also cleared out, so I don't have to worry about anything in there either. <clears throat> Okay, so it's going around this way. And, oh, hello. Here, yeah, attack me. Yeah, that sucks. Um, and throw it in the blue flame. Fight my wolf spirit, as they call it. I don't know why it does that. Again, this is this is actually still reinstalled on the hard drive. So, although reformatting the drive definitely has sped it up a little bit, um, I may actually have to replace it. Or, I was just about to say, I looked up some <clears throat> pricings for SSDs. And, well, I was going to go with a, like a 120 gig. That would only allow me to install a couple of games. Um, <clears throat> I was also thinking about going with a... M.2 SSD, which is one of the newer types. That's going the wrong way. One of the newer types of SSDs. It actually goes into the motherboard directly instead of going through a third, uh, you know, a separate cable like a SATA cable. <clears throat> and what that means is not only is it faster than a regular SSD, but I mean, actually, that's all that means. It's faster than a regular SSD because it's directly connected to the motherboard via uh, PCI type of connection. I don't know why it keeps uh, keeps doing that. It keeps stuttering. Well, not stuttering, hitching, really. Hmm. But again, I attribute that to possibly the uh, the hard drive. So I think my four terabyte, that's a lot of space, by the way. See, it still keeps doing that. Uh, it's dying on me. But it will it should hold out <clears throat> until I can get another SSD. And then I was looking at the prices for one terabyte SSDs. Holy crap, it is expensive. I thought the pricing would have come down with the SSDs, but it really, it depends on the type of SSD that you get. You've got you got different types of SSDs. So you have uh T uh was it yeah T TLC and MLC. I know TLC doesn't stand for tender loving care. Okay. It stands for triple level cells. And uh MLC stands for multi level cells and uh then you've got single level cells, which are, I believe, most of the earlier SSDs. And uh, it's not this one, though I think, oh, I can get it off this one. Never mind. Thank you for your head. Oh my god. Chopped it right off. All right. I actually went a little bit deeper the last time I tested this out, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I got the head. Quick save. And now... I'm going to Yisgarmar's tomb. Um, so, I really should have installed this on my SSD instead. But I didn't have any room. Because it's my main drive. I mean, I not only have the operating system on there, but all my drivers and everything that I have on there that's important for running the computer. <laughs> and all the necessary programs like Gaper Media, uh, Rec Central, and stuff like that. All right, so let's mark Yisgomor's tomb. <sighs> it's going to be a trek. All right. But yeah, please forgive all the hitching and... Stuff like that. I'm attributing that to the hard drive. <clears throat> I don't know how old it is. I really don't. I, it may have been it, one of my external drives, or used to be, and it could be the oldest one that I've had. 
and that I've had for a long time. So, um, needless to say, it needs to go or be replaced one way or another. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, one terabyte SSDs. God, I can't stand it when I can't see the path. <gasps> I forgot Skyrim floor overhaul. Got to do that. Uh, the one terabyte SSDs, we're talking like $400 for a terabyte. And I, it's like, a terabyte is a lot. Oh, I'm going the complete wrong direction. <sighs> I hate it when you can't see the path. Like, clearly, it's annoying. I also forgot to see if there was, like, a mod that added, like, a mini-map to the, to the game. That'd be nice. Because screw a compass. I mean, come on. Ooh, a compass. Huh? We're doing things differently. Compass. Please. No. No compass. Mini-map. I mean, even Fallout 4 has a compass. And it's like, guys, minimap, come on. I get it, you're Bethesda, you want to be artsy, but... You know, if you're going to make your game... <clears throat> be a standard open world game that's easy for people to play, pick up and play and do things with, then put a freaking minimap in there. I mean, you might as well. Not only can we fast travel in this game, but we can place our own damn markers and... When I find you, you're best. you know... We're just basically given everything. Just give us a mini-map. The whole idea of a compass is like, honestly, kind of stupid. Oh, sh sh Oop, didn't mean to swear there. Whoops, wrong button again. Well, we've got some, uh, some help at least. I hate it when guys are moving constantly. Wow, that was way off. What the heck? Okay, we're stuttering too much now. Stop stuttering. The stuttering is killing the... Uh, It's it's messing with the audio and I don't like it. That makes me nervous. It makes me real uh, feel like the recording is going to be messed up and I don't want this. I'd rather not have my recording messed up. All right, come on, Lydia. We have a job to do. So that took a lot less time to get to the coven than I thought, and hopefully, well, it's going to be a trek to Yzgrimor's tomb. I mean, I remember doing that the first time. And there's dangers along the way, but it's a really long, long ways away. Because I have to go from all the way down here to all the way up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along this road, along the main road, and then take a left here. Go up, and then all the way up through Dawnstar. M uh, maybe not through Dawnstar, actually. Uh, so we're going to get up here, probably go this way. Because there's the lighthouse. And then somehow just trek through this ridiculousness. All this, you know, glacial formations and whatnot. It's going to be a long trek. So I hope you guys are comfortable. But this is, this is important to me. I don't want to... I want my character to feel well rested when he goes to sleep. Okay. Can't be having him be like, ah, I can't sleep. <sighs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, so I was looking at M.2 SSDs. I was looking at regular SSDs. There was a nine, was it 960 gig? 
So let just under a terabyte. But you got like terabyte SSDs that are like four hundred dollars, and then I found a, a 960 gig for like two hundred for half that, and I'm like, it's practically a terabyte. What the hell? It's ridiculous. But that was a standard SSD, and I kind of want that M.2 SSD, but those aren't cheap. Like those, those since they're new technology, um, kind of kind of expensive <clears throat> are you another one that I've hit before or are you just random I think you're random like a health bar would have shown up by then oh, look at the sunrise I don't know about you guys but the environment in this game is what makes me come back to it every single time not just the fact that the gameplay is awesome and everything and the whatever but it's the world of Skyrim. The world in which we play in is the reason I keep wanting to play this game. Because I love the music. Oh, please. You pass by me. Go screw yourself. Or as they say in The Witcher, go plow yourself. Um, so... Anyway, uh, the, the world of Skyrim, uh, the environment, the music, the sounds, everything about this world, just, I love it. I'm a huge, like, I like fantasy, but I also like the idea of medieval times, okay? Forget about all the disease and the wars and everything. I'm talking just the idea of medieval times, you know, when you go to, like, a Renaissance fair, and I don't give a crap if it's pronounced renaissance, okay? We talk like normal people, all right? It's renaissance. Anyway. Um, when you go to, like, a renaissance fair and the, the weaponry, the armors, the clothing, everything. That's why one day I just decided to look up, why are cloaks not worn anymore? Why are capes not worn? Like, you know, the guy, my guy's wearing a cloak. Why the hell aren't, the, aren't those worn anymore? And it's like, well, select few people wear them. You know, I mean, it's it's more of like a fashion thing rather than functional. But um, cloaks in their own right are functional. And strangely enough, they pretty much can be anything. Generally, you want them to be something like wool. Uh, something, I know I should be collecting those butterflies, but, you know, kind of in, kind of on a roll here. Um, <clears throat> you know, you wants to be, you want it to be something durable and, and something that'll keep you warm. Um, but everybody's argument, when I looked this up, Everybody's argument was, well, jackets were invented, so, you know. And, and and the whole reasoning behind that was because jackets have pockets. And it's just like, well, okay. But if your pants have pockets, then put whatever you're carrying in your pants pockets. Okay, not everybody uses their jacket pockets for anything. You know. Um... I see their point, but I don't like their point because it's not really a valid argument. Ooh, pockets were invented. Well, it's like you could probably sew a pocket into a cloak too. You know, you could probably just do that. I'm sure to be willing to carry something light like your wallet. Obviously, ladies, you're going to have your purses. So, you know, but you generally just carry those. So... I don't know. I think cloaks... I mean, here's here's the benefit of cloaks. They go down to your feet. If you, want, if you want a jacket that goes down to your feet, you have to buy a trench coat. Which is basically a cloak that you can tie off. That's, that's all it is. And even cloaks, I mean, if you want to tie off your cloak, you can, you know... Put a... I don't know, a clip on it or something. <laughs> like down... Halfway down the cloak. The bottom line is is that cloaks aren't just a fashion statement. They are still functional things. But it's just like, how cool would that be? 
just walk down the street with a cloak. I mean, you know, people today would be weirded out by it. They'd be like, oh, what the hell is this guy doing? You know, is he a superhero? <laughs> they make all kinds of jokes. They make those jokes because, you know, that's society for you. People would look at you funny and it's like, why? It's actually a functional piece of clothing. It's just different. But, I mean, that's if, like, a guy went down the street wearing it. If ladies did, wouldn't really bat an eye because the cloak would probably be made of some sort of, like, you know, fancy material like silk or faux fur. I say faux because real fur is fewer and farther between these days. Uh, and probably ridiculously expensive, but I don't know. I just think it'd be cool The just the whole setting of medieval times is just really cool to me. You know, like I said, get rid of all the disease and all the war and everything. And what do you got? Just a fantastic time to be in. Because it was simple. Everything was simple. You know? People were farmers. They worked for themselves. They did their own thing. Grew their own crops. Well, people knew how to do that. You know, there were still general stores and places to go sell your things and buy things and whatnot. But, like, you could do that. You know, you could go down to the general, you know, the, the store. Any store, really. I mean, just like in this game, you can go anywhere and sell your stuff. <laughs> pretty sure that was actually a thing i mean you probably could do that you can't do that to, to these days if you go to like if i was to take um well even actually just anything if i was to take like my ps4 and go to best buy i don't think they would buy it off me i'm pretty sure they wouldn't they might they do take and use games they do have them so maybe i could be wrong about that GameStop, obviously. Uh, you got uh, J Street Games. I don't know if that's anywhere around the nation, but it's here in New York. <clears throat> um, you go to J Street Games, you, obviously you can take your stuff in there. But I can't think like... Um, oh, what am I thinking? Like a, a mug. Like if there was like a really... A mug that I thought was valuable and I wanted to get some money off of it. I couldn't go to Best Buy or J Street Games and just sell it to them. It's not going to happen. Because they don't, that's not what they deal in. That's not their thing. All right, so I'm going to take a right here instead. No, 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 no. Uh, no, leave it. Stop. I'm an idiot. I thought I could click and drag. Uh, Wayward Pass. Alf Tanned. I don't even know what that is. I've been there, obviously. Was that the Dwarven place? See, I said I was going to go up this way, but I think I'm just going to go this way. Because that'll be a more straight shot. Yeah, so we'll take a right here. Do a quick save. Um, but yeah, you, you can't just do that anymore. Of course, back in medieval times, electronics weren't a thing. But see, that's what I'm talking about. Simpler. Everything was simpler. You know, we, we created technology to make things simpler, and they just make things more complicated, don't they? They really do. You know, the invention of the internet allowed anybody to say what's on their mind, and it's just like, sometimes some people shouldn't be allowed to touch a computer. Just sometimes. <laughs> Donald Trump, for example. <laughs> But you know what? The one thing I could say about the guy, he did not change who he was. When he be, even when he became president, did not change who he was. And I can admire that. I can. Some people might think that's crazy, but in this day and age, everybody tries to be something they're not. And at least he knows who he is, and he's not changing that for anybody. He may be a terrible president. <laughs> one of the worst, if not the worst. But the man stays true to who he is. And who he is is kind of a dick. <laughs> kind of a dick. 
But sometimes, mm, I'm, I'm not saying he tells the truth all the time. Okay. Hell, I'm sure he's lied about a ton of stuff. But when he does tell the truth, some people take it like, oh, my God. But it's like, mm, the truth sucks. I mean, what do you want? Like his most recent exploit, he called, uh, what was it, Haiti, people from, not people, but like Haiti and uh, somewhere else. I can't remember what it was, um, the other place that it was he was talking about. He called Haiti and this other country crap holes. He used the, he used the more harsher term, but I, I'm going to say crap holes, so I don't have to go through this video and beep myself again. Um. <clears throat> And, uh, and that was in a meeting. He denied it, of course. And the people who were in the meeting with him said otherwise. Said he totally said it. He's lying. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, my God. I keep trying... I keep trying to drag the map with my mouse, in like in other games. How am I going to do this? I could take a right here, and then I can just go down this way. Then why does this place have to be so far out of the way. I mean, damn it. Yskomor, why did you have this place built so far out? What are you doing? Don't look at me. I didn't kill her. I was just making sure the body got buried. Yeah, you don't sound... What? I'm... Well, you did sound suspicious, but um... You know, whatever. Anyway... Uh, so he called them crap holes, and people took that as, well, he's calling the people crap holes. And even if he did say it, uh, Donald Trump is not a politician. And this goes back to him being, you know, uh, who he is. He's just an ass, you know. He's a major dick, and he's just going to say what's on his mind. And Rex Tillerson, that's the guy who said this. I, I'm pretty sure this is the guy, but he had said in an interview one time, Donald Trump just speaks for himself. Like, he, does he represent all that is America? No. <laughs> of course not. The guy's not a politician. He doesn't know how to properly represent himself uh, to the world, or, or present himself to the world, I should say. The guy's a businessman. That's where he came from, and that's how what he'll always be. So he's going to act the way he was. E what? Oh! See, audio's being weird, and that this time it's not actually. Whoops! This time it's not my freaking. Uh, take that. Uh, this time it's not my capture card because I'm not using the capture card. So now it's just the game. Anyway, so he doesn't he doesn't represent America in the best light when he acts like he does. But at the same time, we all have to just take what he says with a grain of salt. He's the figurehead that, you know, is to represent this country. But what he says and what actually happens with Congress, with the government, is, is not what the views of America are. And so you just have to take it as, well, it's just Donald Trump. That's just him. Uh-oh. Uh... I'm not sure what's going on with the audio. I might be able to kill this thing, but it's... Wow. That sucked. That sucked pretty badly. Oh, good. He gave me most of my stuff back. I don't know why the audio is being weird. That's actually in the game. That's that's the game acting weird. I'm not sure why. 
yeah, there's a lot of animals here that uh, they're just they're just out for blood. And I think people need to stop acting so shocked by what this man says. Is what I'm trying to get at here. Quit acting so surprised that he says things. What's the point? It's Donald Trump. Of course he's going to say stuff that offends people. It's just him. I mean, you know, just don't don't take his uh, his inability to be a proper representation of America as well. You know, that's how America. That's how our government thinks. It's like no, he speaks for himself. The government, they're a whole different breed of stupid. But you know. They all, they're all politicians. They know how to act in front of a camera or in a meeting or whatever. I personally think that Donald Trump just... <clears throat> I, don't, I didn't mean to get all political in this video. I'm just trying to get my point out there, whether anybody cares or not. Like I said in, in a few episodes ago, this is, this is my time to not really air my grievances. Sometimes it's like that. But it's more or less uh, just to chat. You know? Just to chat. And so, anyway. Uh, is that one of the old rooms? Uh, our government is not perfect. It sucks, actually. Um, they call it a democracy. It is not. Not even close. But... Um, I guess overall, just to take away from what I'm trying to say, Donald Trump speaks for himself, so stop being so butthurt about over things over things that he says. Cause to be honest, I'm not I wouldn't say I would use those words. I might, I don't know. But those countries kind of are not in the best place. Haiti and you know, war torn countries. They're not they're not great. You know, now do I think that what he said has the potential to be taken as, oh, well, he's also kind of lumping the people into that category. Sure. You know, I, I think if you call a particular country a crap hole, um, you could also possibly mean that the people are, because he was talking about like taking more immigrants and it's like, well, why would we want to take anybody from that crap hole? So, I can see where people got, you know, pissed off about the fact that he said that because that to me, if you really think about it, does sound like he's saying the people are kind of crap holes or, you know, they're crap heads, you know, like they're not good people. And it's like, that's not true. The country itself sucks. The government, the everything, it's worse than our government. And I'm, I'm, I, that's obvious. That should be obvious to anybody. Our government's obviously way better than some other countries' governments. Some countries don't have a government. But uh, here's the blue flame. Here we go. This is it. I'm surprised. We've only been going for like 40 minutes, and it took us 40 minutes to go down to the coven and then all the way up here to get to the blue flame. Here we go. Cast the witch's head into the flames to cure your like lyc lycanthropy forever. Yes. And there's my wolf spirit. I'm going to fight him. Now, when I, oh, for God's sake, just zoom in. When I face this thing, uh, wow, okay. There we go. Oh, I couldn't search it. Damn it. All right, well, let me pick up the arrows that I missed. Uh, when I face this thing in my test run, I was using my old armor, old weapons. Not old, but like, you know, sword and whatnot. <sighs> Guess what, guys? I'm free. I'm free of being a werewolf. I'm free of not having a good night's rest. Boom. No longer here. No longer here. Used to be something here called beast form. Not here anymore. <laughs>
I'm not a werewolf anymore. Uh, give you access to the in-game configuration menu for immersive citizens. Oh, okay. So that's another uh, mod that I just installed today that I forgot to install the last time. Uh, it's called Immersive AI or whatever. And uh, it's supposed to make the AI more... Oh, I don't know. Interactive with you? Or they interactive with each other? Something like that. I can't remember. But it's supposed to make them, as it says, more immersive. So, you know, while they're going about their day, they'll have conversations with each other and... At least that's what I remember, I think, reading. And uh, so I wanted that in here. and I wanted to see how it ran and see uh, see how it was. As a matter of fact, let me take a look. Uh, there's a shortcut key for the magic menu, and I completely keep forgetting. All right. You see, that's just, that says it gives me access to the configuration menu, but what about this? Is Sky UI the only one that I can configure from here? I guess it looks like it, yeah. Well, that sucks. Uh, oh. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. There we go. Update, reboot, disable, weather. Oh, okay. That's all it is. But it's overall just um, active. Alteration, illusion, destruction. There they are. You know me. I do my fire breath. <clears throat> so we'll see how that mod goes. Yeah, I apologize for getting political there. I don't normally... I mean, I, I can't keep saying that because I do get political a lot more frequently than I'd like to admit. Uh, I just don't have a political stance in terms of like, oh, I'm with this party because it's all stupid. Both sides or all sides, not really just both. I know there's Democrat and Republican, but there's also independent Tea Party or whatever. I don't know what the hell they call themselves these days, but, uh, you know, there's there's people... I have political views from both sides. You know, I think both sides have their merits. Both sides certainly have their flaws. But I don't like to affiliate myself with a, a party because it's, it's ridiculous. That just creates... That, that, that divides people. And we're supposed to be a country where we're united... United States. <laughs> Where's the United when we, when we're all just like I'm with this and I'm with this, like really? Oh crap! All right, where's this place? I'm starting to stutter again. This may not uh, work the way I want it to. <sighs> oh, it's all the way down here. I hate the fact that I lose sight of this thing. Hmm. Can I abandon that? I thought you could abandon uh, quests and stuff. <sighs> I might as well get it, get it done and over with. Last one, last one, and I will never have to go back to the companions ever again. I got them their totems. I relieved myself of being a werewolf. Thank God. The other option would be to be uh, become a vampire lord, which I don't plan on doing. Um, so we're going to go down, we're going to do this quest, just get it out of the, uh, uh, out of my quest log, and then we will continue, finally, okay, after all these episodes, me and my stupidity, uh, I didn't even, like, bother to check 
forever ago. Uh, how harvest spiky grass? Uh oh. Why are you doing that? It's the hard drive. You know it's the hard drive. Um. What is happening here? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. You know what? You guys can um. Ah, go away. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. I have nothing to do with this. Go away. Don't touch me. And if you come after me, I will kill you. So we got to get back on the main road. So after this, we're finally going to continue on with something else. <laughs> I know I have a lot of those miscellaneous quests. But what is this spiky grass? I've never actually... I've never seen this. I've never heard of it. What does it do? Grass pod. Where is it? It would have to be in here. There it is. Well, I guess I'll eat it. Resist poison. Oh. All right. That's cool. Why is the Ascendant Conjurer's health bar still on above my head? Is he following me? I think he was... Yeah, I think he is. Because I crossed paths. He killed the other two guys. And now he's going to come after me. He's not anymore. He disappeared. Uh, what a douche. Let's take a look. We got this one to take care of. We got the Forsworn Conspiracy. I don't even know what that is anymore. I received a note from a man named Eltris in Markarth. He wants me to meet him at the Shrine of Talos, presumably to talk about the recent incident in Markarth's marketplace. Oh, that's when the murderer came out of nowhere. And speak to the leader of the Dawnguard. Learned of a group of vampire hunters known as the Dawnguard. It seems they are looking for new recruits. That's that. That's the Dawnguard uh, path. Probably not the path to become a vampire, but just a path. Uh, Greybeards st <laughs> still haven't even saw the Greybeards yet. Like they, they would be able to finish my unrelenting force shout, and I haven't even gone there. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, that's that's the main story right there. Is is you go to see the Greybeards? That's the main quest, and I'm just like, nah. I'm just gonna do everything else. Find the source of power in Dead Man's respite. A respite. Well, we're going to do the animal extermination. We're going to finish it. We're going to go back, turn it in, and never talk to those people again. Because <laughs> I am done doing errands for these people. All right, so I got to go up and around here. Oh, I wish you wouldn't do this. It makes me nervous. Oh, it makes me super nervous when it... Uh, when it takes a couple extra seconds to respond. Now, I could pull up the task manager and look at the performance right now. I don't want to do that. Uh, because I'd... Pff, in the middle of a video? Pff, you crazy? No way. I'm not doing that. But my sneaky suspicion is that it's definitely the uh, hard drive. Although I re reformatted it, it's old... I, I'm going to have to assume that it's the old one. And, uh... It's getting on in years, man. Getting on in years. Alright, we're going to go through the pass again. I think this is where the pass is. Yeah. We're on the right track, people. We just go up and over. Please don't crash. God! Stop! This would not be happening. An SSD. Um, I may just get a temporary SSD until I can afford a really, really good one later on. Uh, like 120 gig SSD is like 50 bucks. You know, and even if I just use it for Skyrim, I don't care. It's something faster. You know, and I at that point, I could... Since The Witcher 2, PUBG, and Seven Days to Die aren't all very big files, I could put them all... Whoa. Okay, we've got... <laughs> we've got two sets of giant-ass spiders fighting each other. Do uh, you think they'll let us pass? Probably not. 
Oh, you're almost dead anyway. And you're dead. <laughs> they practically killed each other anyway. Oh my god, these things are ugly. Nah. Nah. I could sell those things, but I'm not going to. Gross. Ugh. God. I don't have arachnophobia, but I don't I don't necessarily like spiders either. They're gross. Creepy. <sighs> Alright, we made it back to the main road. Hell of an adventure already. I mean, I am really surprised. It only took us 40 minutes to go from one end of the map to the other. Um, from south to north, that is. I mean, going from east to west or west to east doesn't really matter which direction. That is an even bigger trek compared to what we just did, but I'm surprised. Very, very surprised. It's great. So... <coughs> If you've got 40 minutes to spend, not using the fast travel is pretty cool. But hey, at least you guys are now informed. If you go from Whiterun to the Glenmoral Coven, and then all the way up to Ysgrimor's tomb, it takes 40 minutes. There you go. With minor stops here and there for fights. But about half an hour to 45 minutes. Give or take. Just follow the road. Don't try and cut across. Uh, I mean, you'll just... You'll just complicate things. I mean, that that's why I follow the road. Because if I go across the map, I'm going to run into a giant cliff somewhere and not be able to pass. I'm going to have to walk around it anyway. And uh, it's just easier to follow the road. You know, like... Uh, Dorothy, follow the yellow brick road. Except these bricks are all dirty and covered with snow. If there's one thing I definitely have to uh, have to gripe about this game, it's the sudden change in weather patterns from one area to the next. I mean, I get that there's supposed to be, um, you know. There's supposed to be different types of uh, <sighs> biomes in, in you know in different parts of the map, but I mean right now the snow is sticking with me, which is good. But Skyrim as a whole, as far as I understood, is a very cold and snowy place. So the fact that it's only up in the north, you can see it right here. I mean, look at this. All up here. I mean, you can't get over here, but, like, this is where all the snow is. And then everything down here, there's more non-snowy areas. And then you've got some up here. And I get that they're trying to do that, you know, based on the altitude and so on and so forth. But, I mean... You know, at the same time, it's like, well, all of Skyrim is supposed to be cold, isn't it? Compared to, you know, Oblivion. Or, what's the name of that place? Tamriel's the, the entirety of this place, but the place that you go and the the part of Tamriel that you're in in, in uh, Oblivion. can't remember. I don't think it's called Oblivion. But that would be weird, wouldn't it, if it wasn't called Oblivion? Because every game so far has had a name. Well, not every game, but like since Morrowind, it's had the name of different sections of Tamriel. So, you know, Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind. Number 4 was Oblivion. This one's Skyrim. You know, if Oblivion wasn't the name of the place, which I don't think it is, actually. <laughs> Oblivion is referring to the gates of Oblivion that you use to go in and fight demons and kill them, and that's it. It's not called Oblivion. You guys are going to correct me. I just know it. If you if if I ever get any comments on this video, you guys will you guys will let me know. It's not called Oblivion, stupid.
Well, I know for a fact that the entirety of the continent is called Tamriel, so suck it. I'm not completely oblivious to the story. I was uh, snickering there. I wasn't sniffing the microphone. It does smell like me. <laughs> that wasn't creepy at all. <laughs> you guys are doing a great job walking up and down the streets, by the way. <clears throat> all the while I'm trying to save the world, you guys are walking up and down the streets. Good job. So we got to go back up through Riverwood, through Helgen. Which I don't think I've actually been on this character yet. I've been back to Helgen before in other play, uh, not playthroughs, but like on other characters. I've only actually finished the game once, believe it or not. After, out of all the characters I've had and all the games that I've played on different consoles, um, I've only finished the game once. And I believe it was on stream too. That was years ago. Uh, but I finished it on my PS3. Terrible copy. <laughs> Terrible version of the game. Do not play the PS3 version. If you're going to play in a, a, a version from last gen, play it on the 360. Then, of course, if you have the newer games or newer systems, then play it on PS4 or Xbox One. They run far better. Greetings, brother. No. No. Go away. Take your skooma and go somewhere else. I mean, I could kill him and nobody would notice. It's one less druggie on the planet. I'm trying to manipulate our youngsters. What are all these things flying around in the air here? Those, like, dandelion things or whatever? Yeah, look at that. It's like floating cotton. I just love this music. It's such a good soundtrack for a game. Like I said, love the environment. Especially when you can enhance it with mods. And then it really just makes the game that much better. It really does. It makes the game that much better. And it, it makes you want to come back. You know, if nothing, if nothing else, the music makes you want to come back and just, you know, when you run into a dragon, you want to hear the Skyrim theme because uh, the other theme, the other song is like meh compared to the Skyrim theme when you're facing a dragon. It's like when, when you hear the Skyrim theme when you're facing a dragon, it's like, yes, I am powerful. I am the dragonborn. And then the other song is like, all right, then just facing a dragon. With a really crappy song. It's not a great song. It's like, ooh, I'm in danger. Not really. I'm the dragonborn. I'm here to kill dragons. Look at the salmon. Look at the salmon. Oh, look at that. They're not really salmon. I don't know what they are. They're fish. But that's what salmon do. They migrate upstream. They spawn upstream or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I got all my mods reinstalled. Realistic Water 2 is installed, and it just looks great. Alright. Uh, yep, there's Helgen. So we're gonna... Uh, gonna swing it around here. Okay. Ember Shard Mine. Wow, I don't even remember doing that. Oh, that was probably the mine that we came out of the first time, yeah. So we go up and around here, then we take a right and go all the way up to Helgen. Uh, and then we go past it and go into this place. Clear out the grotto. Be done with this. We move on with our lives. So I apologize immensely for all the episodes that I spent just hoping that maybe I'd get a quest to clear my werewolfism. 
I'm sorry, lycanthropy. I wasn't sure how to pronounce that word, but then I just, like, read it. I mean, when you read it, and you try to sound it out, you you tend to probably want to say, like, lycanthropy, or something like that. But when you put, you know, thropy, the word thropy, or thropy, on the end of a word, you kind of have to blend it together. I've noticed that a lot with a lot of, you know, words. You know, when they have that sort of feel to where it sounds like it, it, it sounds weird to you, like lycanthropy, like that doesn't make any sense. Like when it comes out of your mouth, you're just like, that sounds wrong. Let me try that again. And then you try and blend it together as one word instead of make it sound like two words. It's lycanthropy. It's like, actually, that sounds better. It sounds, it still sounds weird. I've never really heard of that word, but I, I know what a lichen is. I just never heard of lycanthropy. I'm trying to think of another word that uses that at the end there. Now, I don't think I can actually go through. See, I could unlock that. But I think I'm just going to go around. It'll be a lot easier if I just go around. And we'll just go up and over here. Just following the main road. You know what's weird, though? Is that the music is roughly about halfway down. I think. But the master volume is all the way up. So... It's a bit odd because it's quiet. You know, everything's quiet. I have no idea why. But it, it's kind of nice because it's, it allows me to go into edit the video. And I don't actually have to change the volume of my voice. Well, I, I boost my voice volume by six decibels. So at least, you know, you can still hear me and understand me. But, like, I actually don't have to change anything about the volume of the game. It's quiet enough to where I can just leave it be. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Again, I apologize for the weird sound problem that I'm having. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't have any sound mods installed or anything, so that's why I'm confused. Everything's lagging behind for some reason. That was a quick save. <coughs> but I have to chalk it up to the uh, the hard drive just dying on me here. But it's a good thing I didn't install too many games this time. You know, last time I had, like, not my entire library. I had, like, half my library installed. And, I mean, there's, I, I plan on playing all those games. Just not right now. Kind of just sitting there doing nothing. So instead of having them installed, I will just not have them installed. But an SSD would be nice. And 120 gigs to hold 7 Days to Die, PUBG, Skyrim, and The Witcher 2. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. I mean, Skyrim uh, Special Edition is only 10 gigs. It's really not that big of a file surprisingly enough with all the expansions and everything you'd think it'd be huge but it's actually not that big the original game file was uh eight i think could be wrong but i'm pretty sure it was like eight all right is this where we're going please tell me it's where we're going this is it right Yep, this is it. Greywater Grotto. Alright. Let's get our weapons out, Lydia. Let's go. She'll she'll spawn in. She'll spawn with me. <sighs> See that's one thing I learned about this game is that if you uh 
if you lose your follower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I got a bad feeling about you saying something and lagging my game. I already forgot. Oh, if you lose your... Oh, it's just a wolf. If you lose your... Um, follower, all you need to do... Bam! Straight shot, son. Look at that. Oh, hello. Is this still considered a sneak attack? <laughs> uh, if you lose your follower, just find a place to uh, load into. Here, I forgot to change my um, my controls for crouching. Crouch, 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 crouch. Sneak. Well then, what's what's C then? Oh wait, let me. While I'm here, quick magic is P. That's a very weird uh, key to put that on. I think C was something different. No, uh, damn it. Though I guess left con uh, left control wouldn't be so bad for changing uh, POV, but eh, not really into that idea. Since I do change POV quite a bit. Especially since I use a bow. Why, well, thank you, dead bandit. For your gold and your potions. Yes, yes, yes. Woo. He won't notice a thing. What? Two times sneak attack damage and he just shugs it off? What the hell? Okay, how did I miss that? Come on now. There we go. It's another crit critical app. I seriously don't know what's up with the sound. Where's the other one? There he is. Okay, we didn't clear it out. There's still one alive. Jeez. A little preemptive there, uh, game. That ah, was a terrible shot. I find that such a strange problem with the bow and arrow in this game is that un unless you hold it for a few seconds after you've already drawn the arrow back, you won't get the full power. So if I do this, boom, and it just drops like a freaking ton of bricks, you know? But if I do this, then it's, you know, then it's fully charged and it'll fly. I, I don't like that. It's like, if I've drawn the bow back, you let me get the full effect of it. I mean, it's stupid. Oh, look at that. There's the Brigand Dwemer breastplate. It's such a cool set of armor. But, if I pick it up, it's 45 pounds. I'm going to say those are pounds, okay? Just because, I mean, my guy's a baller. Why wouldn't it be pounds? All right, so I can come out of... You know, I just... I like traveling in third person. I don't know why. I just... I prefer it. You can see things better. But, obviously, if I'm using a bow and arrow, I want to be in first person so I can... I don't know. See what I'm shooting at. Not that I can't, sh you know... Play a third person shooter, obviously. I play PUBG. And back in the day, it was all about SOCOM for me. But those cameras are more off to the side of the character so you can see what's in front of you where you know while the reticle shoots to the center in this well let's just take this out okay it is above but you do end up like losing your target some I don't, I don't know i feel like i lose my target and i can't be as accurate because if i'm moving then the arrow also kind of is a, it's it's also affected by your movement so if you're moving while you shoot, then your arrow will go absolutely off course. And it sucks. Oh, jeez. I'm not terrible at it. But that also that problem with um, not having the bow drawn back all the way. 
I'm just going to say that, you know, even though I'm drawing the bow faster because I upgraded that part, it does, it seems to still be just, uh, acting as though it, I'm not, you know, it's acting as though I don't have the upgrade. And so I have to hold it for a few seconds anyway. So, I mean, I kind of feel like that wasn't worth getting that upgrade because it doesn't react any faster. So I don't know. I could be wrong. It doesn't feel like it's reacting any faster because I just showed you. I already had the bow drawn back. I let it go and it dropped like a hammer. Wow, daytime is gone already? Wow. How? <laughs> How is daytime gone already? That's nuts. All right, let me get rid of my marker. I don't know how daytime just came and went. It's gone. Now it's just a straight shot back to White Run. Yeah, that's just a weird anomaly in the game with the bow and arrow. I have to hold it anyway and to get the full force. No matter how quickly I draw the bow, it still needs a second to actually get the power to register. So I feel like getting the skill to draw the bow faster is useless. Okay, some random dude just running up the road to Helgen. All right, dude, if you want to, you know, go in there and die. Is it this way? Yes, yes it is. I could go down the other way, but meh. Take the path of least resistance. And in this case, the resistance is the curve in the road going the other way. But yeah, right now, I would love to go get go out and get an SSD, but right now I'm waiting on the Jack and Apes over at uh, Navient to take their money for my student loan, my private loan that I'm paying on right now. The only loan I'm paying on right now. I think my federal and Department of Education loans are on hold at the moment. I think, I'm pretty sure I applied for... Uh, deferment slash forbearance, whichever one they use, I don't care. Um, as far as I understand, I can actually keep those on hold for as long as I want. Like, I can apply for deferment f as long as I want. Interest accrues, but I can, those have endless, this is what I was told. I don't know if it still works this way, but those have endless, uh, supplies of deferments private loans do not and i'm fresh out of those i used those up years ago part of me does wish that i just lied in my uh progress report when i was working at metlife i worked there for three months they sat me down at a progress meeting asked me if they if i saw myself doing this and i said no because I didn't. I, I really didn't. I saw myself being very miserable. Now, not to say I wouldn't get good at the job. A lot of people were there. Tony was a really cool dude. But I got switched to the day shift with some woman who apparently uh, is... She's the worst teacher ever. She was terrible. She, she just got... Like, we were in the middle of a... You know, fixing a, a problem. And... Um, you know, she asked me if I had fixed it yet, and I'm just like, no. I'm trying, but no, I haven't fixed it yet. You expect me to fix it in five seconds, I barely know what I'm doing. Because I haven't had any proper training, because I didn't have government clearance. Which is also stupid, by the way. I get why they did it, but it was stupid. I spent the better part of two and a half months sitting there twiddling my thumbs. And my supervisor was like basically le telling me okay just take a look at the stuff that uh you know the jobs that go down and take note of them 
and let me know and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's it? That's all I can do? So I basically spent the, the two and a half months that I was there, or that I was actually doing nothing, waiting for government clearance, to uh, work on my website, write up um, halftime episodes. My stuff, really. I got paid to do my stuff. And then I got two weeks of training, if you want to call it that. Quote, unquote. I'm doing the finger thing. Um, it wasn't really training. I was trained by some idiot who didn't know how to train properly. And so, like, that one incident where she was like, she asked me if I had fixed the problem. And I'm like, no, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. She slammed her her hand on the desk and got up and walked away. I'm like, I'm sorry. I was here for two and a half months without clearance. So you expect me to know right off the bat what I'm supposed to do. Go screw yourself. And I talked to people there that had been there for years. And they said it took, it, like some of them took, they said it took them like a year to get get the whole thing down. A year! You know, but if I had just endured it, I would have been making $40,000 a year. <laughs> I would have had my own place. Uh, I would have had a very reputable company on my resume. What now? You talking about... You talking about... Uh, Wow, she really is, uh... Oh, what was an accident? Oh. Oh. can barely hear her over the thundering sound of thunder. Uh, oh wait, who is this guy? I actually have never seen this guy before either. Never mind. You don't want to talk to me. I got it. Um, so yeah, I, w I would have had my life together years ago, but I, I couldn't be dishonest. I was like, I can't do this job. Like, I, I, I w they asked me if I saw myself doing it. I'm like, no, I see this as a jumping off point to do what I ultimately want to do, but no. And uh, next next day, they deactivated my card. I went to work. Though the uh, placement agency, Manpower, they put me in that job without my consent. They actually just, they lied to me, said it was a different job, and uh, they put me in that job. And it was really sleazy what they did. Uh, and I never used them again, but they tried to, the manager of Manpower tried to contact me at six in the morning when I was, you know, already on my way to work. I get there, my card doesn't work, and I'm like, well, crap. And it turned out they turned it off and they have got rid of me. They fired me. Well, they didn't fire me per se. It was the end of my contract period. They they would contract you for three months, see how you work out. If they want to keep you, cool. If not, then they let you go. And so, technically, I didn't get fired. It was just the end of a contract. Oh, see, look at that. And I just had to talk to her, and I wish to regain the gift of beast blood. I do not. Yes, have my share of the pay, because I did it. No. Screw that. I'm done talking to the companions. For work. I'm done with that because it's a never-ending cycle of just animal cruelty. <laughs> That's all it is. Ugh. My ginger ale's going flat. I ran out of uh, orange juice and ginger ale, so... Alright. Okay. Um, let's see where this is. 
it's up over here. Uh, let's see, we're in at hour 20. After drinking all that, Adam needs to go to the bathroom. And I could cut right here and then come back. Really don't like doing that, though. I'm like the master of holding it in, though. So, basically, I just have to follow the road. When I get to here, I take a right instead. Because, obviously, the other way goes to Markarth. Just follow this road past Rorikstead. Where that horse thief was. And, I mean, I could cut across here. But, I don't think there's any road. There's not really much of a road anywhere here. I mean, I see this right here, but... Uh, pretty much, if I just go around, it would bring me right to the front of that place. So I guess that's what I'll do. But here's what I'm going to do. It is 10.53 p.m. I'm actually going to go to my house and get a good night's sleep. Okay, I'm going to wake up well-rested. I don't remember what well, 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 well. I don't remember what well rested does for you, but I'm pretty sure it's a positive thing. I'll look, I I think you just have to look in your uh, effects, your active magic effects or whatever, and it'll tell you. All right. Let's see. Eight hours. If I do eight hours, it'll be seven a.m. Uh, we'll go 6 a.m. Get an early start. Feeling well rested. Awaken feeling a father's love. Oh, look at that. See? Now we get to see what these active, what these effects are. We got father's love. Healing spells and potions restore 25% more health for 8 hours. Well rested. All skills improve 10% faster for eight hours. Brilliant. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm talking, that's, I believe, eight in game hours, not actual hours. That'd be insane if it was actual hours. You could play this game all day with improvements. There you go. That's well rested for you. It improves, your, your skills improve 10% faster for eight in game hours. But yeah, last last episode was not a full hour or two hours and stuff, and so I'll just hold it. I'm good at it. I, I, I'm I'm good at at holding it in. It's not good for you. I just over the years I've trained myself. I guess I don't know. I've held that in. I um. For the for the most part, I'm able to keep myself from throwing up. I've not never thrown up. I've just, I've somehow figured out a way that makes me, you know, if I feel like I'm going to get sick, I'm able to kind of like calm it down by standing up, walking around, um, whatever. I don't know. I have this weird... Uh, ability to, to keep myself from throwing up if I don't want to. <laughs> Obviously, if my body's going to get rid of it, it's going to get rid of it, and there's nothing I can do about it. But the other night, I stupidly... Uh, I made my nachos. My mom wanted me to make my nachos, so I made my nachos because uh, she loves them. It's the one thing I make that she'll eat. Uh, but uh, there was some leftover, and... It was like one, two in the morning. And these nachos aren't spicy. They have a minor kick to them, but not spicy at all. And, uh, yeah. Did not, did not enjoy that. My body did not enjoy that. When I started, when I went to sleep, it woke me up at like seven in the morning after I'd only had like three hours of sleep. I went to bed at like 3, 3 in the morning, something like that. 
I know that's three to seven is four hours, but I'm generalizing. It was like three something, and I woke up at like seven or seven thirty. I don't know, but it was like three, maybe three and a half, four hours of sleep if I'm lucky, and uh, it was not fun. But I was able to keep myself from getting sick, and uh, I did it again. I did it again. And then I was able to sleep for another four hours. Though I was really tired throughout the day. Like, really tired. Even though I technically got eight hours of sleep. That abrupt wake up at seven o'clock, that really messed me up. So, yeah. Just going to stop doing that. <laughs> is that. Is that butterfly dead or is it... No, it's just a random set of butterfly wings. Get back here. Did you land on my head? How dare you? Wait, come back. I didn't mean it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where'd the other one go? Ah! I gotcha. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm vigorously hitting E so I can pick it up because it's like... It's like, I'm right there! Just pick him up! Hmm. I don't know why I went on that conversation. <laughs> went on that tangent. I could keep myself from throwing up. I've trained myself not to pee my pants. I don't know. I don't know why I, why I even mentioned that. Just something to muse over. You know, these are, these are my musings. These are my thoughts that pop into my head. Got to talk about something when you're traveling this far. I mean, you know. I mean, if I was really doing something like this, like traveling on foot somewhere. Look at all these butterflies. Oh, but, 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 get back here. Um, you know, I mean, I'm sure I want to talk to somebody, or at least have somebody to talk to. Can't imagine doing that. Traveling on foot somewhere with, with a companion, and then not saying a word, just walking without saying anything. That'd be rough. That'd be real rough. Be boring. But yeah, so going back to the reasons why I come back to this game, you know, again, the environment kind of just makes me long to be able to experience, you know, real life in this sense. I mean, can you imagine? I actually, I, I, I couldn't believe this, but when I was watching a, um, the hell was it? I think it was like a what on earth or, no, it wasn't that. It was something else. They were talking about like old bridges and stuff. Um, there was this guy and you know, when they show, they show an expert, they, oh, there's a, a person who's going to want to murder me or try to anyway hey buddy how you doing huh are you a crusader oh it's a mage high elf why the hell didn't is lydia gonna kill you can i just like shoot okay see what i mean that went way off she's got the headpiece that i had before my arrow is going way over her head there we go all right Ooh, that one was right in the chest Kill, killing blow right there. That was perfect. Yeah. See, she's got the same one I had. Um. Oh. And so they, they, you know, they show the guy's name and his profession and whatnot. The guy was a, uh, his profession. He was an adventurer. 
I'm not even joking. It said adventurer. And I'm like, that's a thing still? Like, were adventurers even really a thing to begin with? I thought that was just a video game thing. No, it it's legitimately a real job. This guy's job is to adventure. <laughs> and I was like, what? How? How is that a thing? How do you get paid to be an adventurer? I mean, he knew his stuff. He he also knew his history. You know, he was he was a historian of some of sorts. You know, because he's an adventurer, he gets to see things and learn about things and whatnot. And so maybe that's what people pay him for is his expertise in certain areas of history or maybe biology or whatever, you know, but he was legitimately a, a, uh, modern day adventurer. And I'm like, get out of here. Are you kidding me? I mean, he probably gets paid. Like he goes and finds artifacts and, and brings them to museums and gets paid that way. You know, like a Nathan Drake sort of kind of guy. And I just, I, it blew my mind. I was like, that's insane. I didn't realize that that was a real thing. I was blown away. I was like, damn, I wanted to be an adventurer. <laughs> But um, what I'm getting at, <laughs> after all that, is when you see pictures of, or video, you know, of whatever, like, you see pictures and video of people taking, you know, that have people have taken of, you know, mountain ranges and, um, you know, they go to our national park and they take pictures of, of canyons and rivers and you know wide open fields of grass and trees and it all looks just amazing and it's a it's a side of america that we don't get to see very often you know because it even just traveling costs money you know do you know how hard it would be to just do that on foot that would be absolutely devastating <laughs> And I say that now, it's like, well, you know, if you actually did it, maybe it wouldn't be so bad, but, you know, you still have, even, even traveling on foot, you still have to think about, well, where am I going to stay? Where am I going to sleep? Where am I going to eat? You know, this isn't the old days where you just set up camp on the side of the road. People are just like, one, you're not safe there, okay, from the weirdos in the world. And two, you're not safe from the wilderness either. You know, obviously if you don't camp in a uh, forest infested with wolves or something. I say infested, you know, occupied, I should say, by wolves and, you know, man-eating animals. Um, then you sh should be okay, but at the same time, if you're camping on the side of a road, you have the, the chance of somebody seeing, you know, some psychopath seeing your tent coming in and killing you or whatever they want to do with you, which be the imagination is quite open for that um you know oh that's so cool look at you can see uh what is that that's not windhelm is it no, solitude you can see solitude from all the way over here oh my god wow didn't expect that i didn't think i could see solitude from all the way over here holy crap that's awesome um, you know, but to, to do something like that, just to see the world or at least see your country would be amazing. But again, even if you're willing to, you know, you can't just go out and kill your own food anymore. Like you can't just walk down the road like I'm doing in this game right now. I see that elk and it's like, well, we need food and I'm just shooting it in the face. I just can't do that. In real life, there's laws against that. It's called poaching. And uh, if you're caught doing it, I mean, I think for the aspect of survival, they might kind of waive that. You know, if you're if you're poaching, poaching, like legitimately poaching, going out there killing things just for their head as a trophy, which is, by the way, if you do that, go. F yourself, okay? Seriously. 
who does that who hunts because they want the head for the sport it's like no hunting should be for consumption purposes not sport i don't want something something's head on my wall okay that's creepy and it's just disrespectful okay i'm not a i'm not a peta supporter peta can go f themselves too coming so close to swearing they can go f off too because they're a bunch of hypocrites and stupid people. Like, I, I just, I don't understand their mentality behind anything they do. Um, I'm all for advocacy for animals, you know. I love animals. I, you know, even if they're creepy like spiders. If they're invading my room, I'm going to kill them. But, you know, I mean, it's just like, I'm not really talking about insects. I'm talking more of, like, just animals in general. Um, you know, I'm all for animals rights stuff like that whatever whatever you want to call it but it, if it's if it's between me or them in a in a situation of survival it's going to be them and i think if you knowingly go out see that's probably what they could use against you though if like well you knowingly came out here unprepared you don't have any food it's like well duh the whole point is to get food to survive if you're trying to go without paying anything for and for any reason not paying for a room not paying for food you're there to live off the land while you explore the country or whatever then obviously you're kind of going to have to go out and kill something now i couldn't i i don't know what state of mind I would be in. Obviously, I'd be in survival mode. Um, you know, and I wouldn't be thinking. I'd just be thinking. Oh, whoa, wow, jeez. Wow, you kind of just, like, popped out of nowhere. Um, well, I made this gar these garments. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't have time for this. You can say whatever you want. You're not going to kill me. See, that? the sound is acting very strange. Idiot. This guy was no ordinary thief, though. He came out of nowhere. He literally just popped up. That was insane. Didn't know that happened. So weird. Definitely one of the more craftier thieves. Um, so yeah, I, again, I've never been in that state of mind where I have to survive. You know, I'm starving. I don't know what to do. And well, I'm sure I'd learn pretty quickly how to uh, kill and dress a kill. You know, going hunting for something. I'd have to learn pretty quickly how to survive. <clears throat> I don't know how to make a bow. I don't know what material, you know, constitutes a decent bow. You know, made out of uh, natural materials and whatnot. It's a random dog. Didn't I have a dog at the beginning of this series? I think I did, didn't I? <laughs> he died like forever ago. Along with my horse. I'm so pissed off about my horse. He got into it, though. He he had to fight alongside me, and he didn't have to do that, but he did, and he died. So pissed off about that. Get the blue flowers. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, like, you know, it'd be really hard, you know, just to see the country without paying any money. It'd be a really hard road. I'm always nervous opening up the damn map. A lot of blue flowers. <coughs> but you know, I see I see pictures of those places around the country, even in my own state. 
there are so many so many places that I've never been in New York State. I, I I've never been to Buffalo. My dad was uh born and raised there. Then he moved here to Saratoga, I think. Or was it Voorheesville? I don't know. Uh but then he moved across here when he was I think in his teens or whatever, and you know, him and his parents. But he was born and raised in Buffalo. I've never been to my dad's ho- hometown. Um, you know, I used to work uh, up north from here, about 45 minutes away uh, at Grace Note. And as I'm going up the highway, I'm, I'm looking at all the trees and, oh, wow, I've completely gone off the path here. Um I'm looking at all the trees I'm passing by, all the open fields, and I'm just like, I've never really been anywhere in this state. Oh, what the freaking frick, dude? Where'd this thing come from? It says giant crabs out of nowhere. What the heck? They're just sliding down, they're like, wee! <laughs> That's restore stamina. Don't care about that. I mean, it would, it would help if I took it and made those potions but eh. did I pass by it no okay so we're good we're good still just got to find the the path which I think is just on the other side of this bridge yes yes it is it's one of those other one of those paths that you can barely see that's why I passed by it because look this is the path right here it's covered by grass I know it's the path least taken but come on dude Knock it off. <sighs> See, where's where's the path? Where's the path? I'm completely n losing sight of the path. It's down here somewhere. What do we got going on? Uh oh. It's a bear. And Lydia's over here. That's okay. That wasn't Lydia. It's a freaking fire mage out of nowhere. He's fighting a bear. Black mage. That's a Final Fantasy thing. Okay, then. All right, here's the path. Okay. I got a little off the path there. So we're going to go around, and we're just going gonna to follow the path because it leads right to the entrance of the place. And I think that's where I'm going to stop this episode, to be honest. My body's bothering me like, hey, we need to go. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, I'm old. Ooh, looks like I still got it. This sound glitch, though, is really bugging me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about it. Maybe it's because I'm using SKSE. I mean, I want to use Sky UI, but I may have to actually forego using it until it's fully released. Sky UI is fully released, but SKSE 64 is still in early stages. So. So. This, uh, let me just, uh, I want to get a, uh, screenshot set up here. So, it's going to be the end of the episode, but I think we made some massive, uh, progress. We're finally done dealing with the companions. I'm so sorry about that. I t had no idea how to get rid of my werewolfism, and it was like, it was right in front of me the whole time. I could have gotten it done episodes ago. So I apologize for that. But I hope this little adventure was fun at least, you know. I apologize for getting a little political in the middle there. But, eh, you know, 
Sometimes it happens. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And please join me again in the next one where we will start exploring the rest of Skyrim and not going on animal extermination uh, quests over and over and over again. Um, we're finally done being a werewolf and it's time to move on with our lives. If you like this episode, hit that thumbs up button. If you disliked it and hate politics, hit that thumbs down. I won't blame you. Um, check the links in the video description for my new Extra Life campaign 2018 is here and so is a new year for extra life so if you've got any cash at all any kind of spare change send it the way of charity help these kids out i'm once again raising money for my local children's hospital and i could really use your help the limit's still 200 dollars. we're only i don't know if i'm ever going to move that unless i actually get you know a bigger viewer base then i'm hoping to maybe make more for the kids over the years but for right now we're just trying to raise two hundred dollars so if you have anything at all don't hesitate to donate that's a good line i'm keeping that trademark nobody use that um and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe but until next time guys i'm adam wolf this is skyrim no fast travel challenge and i'll see you guys in the next one